In this section, we're looking at continuity and which integers is the function that I've drawn here continuous. Now, I haven't told you what continuous means. This function here, the domain is 0 to 4, including 0, including 4, which means there's no part of the function off to the left and right of what's drawn here. So that's the end, 0 and 4. And it's defined for every x value between 0 and 4. Even right here, there's a hole in the graph, but it's filled in up here. So this domain is every number between 0 and 4, including 0 and 4. All right, we are going to look at, uh, we'll go left to right here. So let's look at x equals 0. So what's happening at x equals 0? So that's the point here. Now, I haven't told you what continuous means, but the intuitive definition is uh, there's no jumps in the graph. And so if we look here, if we zoom in, if we're at this point, there's nothing to the left. So there's nothing over here. So don't look to the left. Just look to the right. If we're at this point, we can go to the right. And we go from this point, we go down here. So it looks pretty good right there. From that point, x equals 0, we can go to the right. And there's no jumps. So this function is continuous at x equals 0. Now, here's how to spell the word continuous. I'm very bad at spelling, so I'm going to use CTS for continuous. And I left extra space here. So function is continuous. That's at x equals 0, like I said. Now, what I'm going to put in here, it's not just continuous. It's, it's doesn't make sense to talk about going to the left because there's no part of the graph to the left. So it is uh, called right continuous. So it's one side of continuity. Now for x equals 1, we're going to look at 1 next. Now here's 1. We got a problem here. We're totally fine going to the right. But this function it has domain both to the left and to the right of 1. So we have to look at both sides. So here, if I go to the left, there's a jump. We have to go way down to here. Because of this, this function is not continuous at 1. So it's not continuous at 1. And I didn't write down the reason before, but I'm going to write down the reasons now. So it's not continuous. So why is it not continuous? Well, our two things are equal. The function value right here, f of 1. The y value is 1. So f of 1 equals 1. This is the limit if I approach only on one side. The limit x approach is 1, but only from the right. And that plus right there means from the right. Approach one from the right. From the left, we'll put a negative there instead of a positive. And the way I remember this, when there's a plus there, I think it's coming from positive land. So it's coming from positive land. If it's a minus, it's coming from negative land. Now, what is that limit? It's also 1. So, so far, so good. But what makes this not continuous, so this is not equal to, and this is the reason it's not continuous, the limit as x approaches 1 from the negative side, uh, which, looking at the graph, is equal to 0. Oh, and that should be an f of x there. So to summarize this, the this is the left limit. So the left limit is not equal to the right limit. 
and the value. So left limit is not the same as the right limit. I don't really want to worry about x equals zero because it's on the uh, edge of the boundary here. Uh, we're mostly going to look at what are called interior points, meaning x values that if you can go a little to one side and the other, you're still inside the domain. So let's not worry about zero too much. So we just did one. Now we're going to look at two. What happens at two? I'm going to zoom in on the graph again. So what's happening at two? Now notice at two, both of the limits agree. The left and the right limit are both one. However, the actual function value is way up here at two. So here the limits agree, the left and right limits agree, but the value does not agree. So f is not continuous. Why? The left and right limits agree. So the left limit, lim x approaches one from negative land. This is equal to one. Again, we can look back at that graph. This is equal to one. It's also equal to the right limit. However, what's not equal is the value. F of, and I wrote one, I meant to put two. Two, it's not equal to the value F of two, which is up here at two. So again, here the limits agree, but the value does not. So that's why this function is not continuous. So left and right limits agree, and when your left and right limits agree, this means the limit exists, but is not equal to the value. The limit f of x as x approaches 2 exists, but it's not equal to f of 2. So again, we have a jump in the graph, so it's not continuous. So that takes care of two. We're going to look at three next. So both at one and two, we had uh, discontinuity, or we did not have continuity because of that jump. Now what's happening at three, finally at three, the value is two, the left limit is two, and the right limit is two. So everybody agrees. There's no jump in the graph. Our function is continuous. So at x equals three, we just saw f is continuous. And the reason why, because the limit exists. Now the left and right limits match. So this is x approaches three. I'm not gonna put a plus or a minus. I'm just gonna leave it at three. And that means both side left and right limit. It's equal to two and that equals f of three. So the limit equals the value. Again, we'll look back at that graph briefly. So up here, the left and right limit here in orange are both have a, both have a y value of two, and that matches with the value on the graph, that point that's filled in. And so this uh, point right here, the function is continuous. We'll look at four briefly, and hopefully by now you can see at four we have a problem. There's a jump, so at four we would be approaching a y value of two as the limit, but our function value is a one. So we're not, ooh, not continuous at four. And we'll get into the precise definition of continuity next.